Happy birthday, Mr. President. Hey, it's good to see you. Come on in. We have an homage today to a Hollywood legend from Barrister and Man. It's a beautiful morning with the barbershop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet! And we're so glad you're here. We wouldn't be the Barbershop Duet without you. In Thanks fact, we joining. just hit 500 subscribers on YouTube and we could Insane. not be more grateful. Thank so if you are here, join the live chat during Come the premiere so we can say hi and maybe even send you out a sample or two if you're a newbie mm -hmm. and you need some help getting your collection started. Yeah. But for our mention today, mm -hmm. sometimes if we have purchased a, an homage to a cologne and it's in the full size and it may not be our favorite we thought wow we wish we had kind of smelled a sample right <laughs> Ta -da! barrett has you covered y'all yes. these are about nine dollars if you use the code stacks mm -hmm. our friend stacks has a code for some money off for and these 10 are 10 millimeter samples mm -hmm. yeah what do you think about these i love these and i actually really like how this comes in because it does actually locks if you want to throw right. it in your purse or your bag it's a perfect travel size as well but we liked it because we could get a nice whiff of this and see how it was after the dry down on either of us before we made the big commitment yeah. on the full size and 10 milliliters is generous y'all yes. boy like it's got enough for you to put that on for a couple of weeks and really live with it and see if you love it and there are a couple that we did so we didn't feel so bad about for the blind buys getting these right. because these will lead you to the large sizes that you mm -hmm. really want so anyway that's been a part of our job. and another thing when we bought a full size size from Barrett they actually included some little sample little mini sizes right. and it was fun they were scents we probably never would have seen yeah. or actually maybe didn't get all the way down the page to find right. but we were super surprised and totally. maybe buying those ones again I too. know <laughs> I know they sent me a little three millimeter of Leighton and I was like Leighton what's this whoa this is awesome so yeah thanks Barrett for surprising us with those and yes. so if you are also on a little bit of an EDP journey like we are put it in the comments let us know what your favorites are Angel's share is yes, kind of one of my cranking up favorites list. right mm -hmm. now but anyway but that actually feeds into our soap today it does. It what does. is our soap today? <laughs> our soap today is Marilyn. And from what I remember, there is a little talk of some perfumes or maybe colognes going on. I'm excited. When we first got into this world and we were looking at all of the amazing fruits to be harvested, we saw Marilyn was out there and we are like, yes. And when we went to get her around it Halloween time, gone. it was gone. She was just gone. Gone. <laughs> you know, like the real Marilyn. Just yeah. Gone. So we were so happy that Will at Barrister and Man brought this back mm -hmm. for Valentine's Day. Yes. And we got to give a little shout out to Will's mom. Uh, this, we actually put a post on Instagram because of how this came. It's the little touches, but y'all, <laughs> the lipstick. The mm -hmm. lipstick on the label. Sarah's Everybody mom knows. said, I think I know what soap arrived today. <laughs> I'm excited to spend a little time with this classic movie star. Let's meet so. All right, so from the sales page at Barrister and Man. On June 1st, 1926, Norma Jean Mortensen was born. She survived a brutal childhood, 12 foster homes, and an orphanage. Married young, then got a job working in a munitions factory during World War II, building rockets and bombs for the radio plane company. Right. There, she met David Conover, an army photographer, who would change her life. Had she stayed in industry, she would have been a titan. In modeling, her next career, she would have been an icon. Instead, she moved on to acting and became Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. This Valentine's Day, we pay homage to the blonde bombshell herself, the most famous sex symbol of the 20th century and likely longer. <laughs> Monroe famously wore a drop of Chanel No. 5 and nothing else to bed. Mm -hmm. But she also had a fondness for Patau Joy, the costliest perfume in the world, and the now all but lost Flores Rose Geranium. All three were sexy, sensual, intimate things, and facets of all three have made their way into her namesake perfume. Introducing Marilyn. Wow. Classy B and M, love it, right? Love it, and, and we this gotta stop label there, is stuff's gorgeous, right? Like yeah. everything about this, I'm just right. so excited to experience this. A bio soap. It's this might be the first soap we've done to an actual person. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I is there another one like a real name on it? I don't know. This one clearly is. Obviously, right. there are homages to people, but right. I don't know but if there's anything been this direct. Yeah. Oh well, my goodness, let's let her out of the box. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got the scissors. This is like a puzzle box. Okay, oh, well, I'm just gonna manhandle this. I think this. we just have to get in there. Ooh, okay. Let's, Let's see. see. 
Oh, oh, oh. oh. Can you? What? See what's in okay. here? Yo, first of all, we have Marilyn Candy. We got lips oh, and candy. candy. <laughs> Yo, oh, for Ooh, lips and hearts. I That's love it. Oh, oh, and there she is. Y'all, it's the little touches in oh, this world. My Okay, so you 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 do this. This you is think? too delicate a work for me. Okay. Yes. I, I hate to mess let's up this sticker, but like. let's see. Okay, let's meet. Oh, there oh it is. that's so classy. That is it's a nice beautiful. picture. Beautiful. Uh -huh. I love it. Look at that. Fantastic. And then we got the side label action. Side oh. label sealed for your protection. All mm -hmm. right. Without any further ado, let's have a first impression. <laughs> I'm excited because we had a tobacco one the other day that was a combination of three different cologne homages right. that had to do with tobacco. And this, this is three, three of Maryland's colognes and one of them being like super unobtainium. Right? Oh, I'm excited. All right, let's bust this thing open. I think you should go first. You think? I was going to make you do first it. first on Maryland. Okay, come on. I know, I feel like I didn't put my lipstick on today. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, you should have been. And I, uh, fun fact, if you go on a deep dive on YouTube, she did not wear red lipstick. Oh, yes. Her lipstick was straight up orange. Mm -hmm. But there was just something about it that red, red. I don't, anyway. On camera, there's something in there. So go down that rabbit That's hole. That's the kind of stuff one. I watch when I'm bored on Sunday afternoon. <gasps> okay. All right, what do you got? Uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that she's got that, like Ooh, that kind of sassy, cool. defiant look on her she face. She does. Like that is a confident thing. Like go and try not to like mm -hmm. my soap, right? Okay, we'll see. Take what it in. Take it in. Oh, interesting. Oh. I don't know if I get as much perfumey as I was expecting. You got you, you got Chanel number five. No, I'm getting more like a woodsy kind of thing. Oh, more like the nothing else side of things, maybe. Right. But I, I I don't know. It's funny because you just mentioned lipstick. I'm like picturing her at like her makeup boudoir yeah. putting on her oh, lipstick yeah. or something and i'm getting like the wood and the powdery clean of stuff around i not as much perfumey as i was expecting is it feminine i thought i was gonna be hit over the head with feminine. yeah me too and i, I oddly am not <laughs> oh like i, mean, I, I, I took an extra see... long shower for this i wanted to be presentable yeah, but no but this is not so feminine there I mean, it could just be in the base until we get it whipped up oh but from what i'm getting i'm getting a much darker scent than I was expecting Whoa. and a little more woodsy maybe like a dried floral in there and some kind of powder I get a sense this might smell a bit more like Arthur Miller y'all uh, it's this is not what I was expecting again could be part of the B&M base that's in here that sometimes you get yeah okay but there there is I thought I just because you say you know female i was thinking a little sweeter or well a little, in but maryland not, i mean you don't get any you know? more female than that i mean right. that's like the benchmark mm -hmm. right but it's it is a little bit more of that deeper darker maybe sultrier side than i was expecting the more flirty fruity sweeter side well now this could be anything at all <laughs> I, yeah i'm really curious what you're gonna say <laughs> would you get thrown out of bed for saying it smells a little bit like maryland or some kind of homage to her i you know first first impression that's not the first thing oh, I thought. Okay, hold on, hold on. L l it's not that I don't like it. It's just my impression of Marilyn. Let me join you in your knowledge. Yes. Hold on, just well, or my panic of I have no idea what to say. See what she was thinking. It's poor. Mm hmm. It's poor, y'all. Like, almost if you didn't know something inappropriate Marilyn about it. Marilyn wasn't on the cover. Uh oh. See what okay, she. Okay, here we go. Here uh, see if that first impression gotcha. is part of it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. Get serious here. Oh. Yeah, was what I was saying kind of on the lanes of where you're at? Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Right? Wow. I, I don't want to say it's leathery, but there's something in that darker woods or something going on. Oh, wait. It's just um more of that raw type of vibe. Okay, y'all. <laughs> first of all, it's Barrister and Man. Where some other scents are beautiful melodies. These are some symphonies, y'all. There's a complex thing going on here. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's there's a lot to this. So hold on a second. Hold on. Let me see if I can start at the beginning. Right. See, what's your first vibe that you get? You know, you know how they say top notes, middle notes, bass notes, right? Right. Here's part of why I love what's going on here. I think when he said that there that there there are elements of those three different perfumes in this, right? Mm -hmm. I kind of thought this was going to be that. This was right. going to be a, a like, beautiful syrupy mix of some Perfume high risk. level perfumes, right? <laughs> Uh-uh, no. Those are like a top note. So all three of those come in and are just like one thing you get at the very beginning. Yeah, and then it kind of But they're away. all there. They're all there. But they kind of bum rush you at the beginning and they're all, hey, see ya. 
Mm-hmm. And they go, right? But they're there. They're what <laughs> welcome you in. And it is the hint of a feminine, but it's right. not a perfume smell. No, it's it's not. whatever they've pulled out of those three perfumes is not the feminine sweeter side of right. them. It's more the woodsy, more musky, more right, well, nighttime kind of Maryland beauty. maybe know, side yeah. of it, right? And and a little bit like, oh, of something playing at citrus. Something kind of playing in a lemon that's not... But it doesn't not... turn sweet no, either. No, right. There's it nothing doesn't... that's as sweet in there as I thought there'd be. And then just... And you know what's funny? But my brain just showed me a, a shaving strop of oh. leather. That that's just what it See, and like. I was getting like the whole makeup counter of like uh, that kind of... Yeah, right. so I'm kind of thinking if you're standing at the shaving mirror or like you're washing your hands at your friend's house and there's a strop on the wall, that right. that's just the whiff. Of mm-hmm. that, of a lovely, beautiful, because straps are made of nice leather. Right? And I was thinking almost like her chair she'd be sitting on would yeah. have leather or something. You know, that classy, loungy vibe. Right. Wow. And I love, I love, because let's face it, this was made for shaving. Mm-hmm. Most the of the shaving world is more on the masculine more. side, right? So I love that this doesn't ask you to wear Coco Chanel. It doesn't. It does not ask you to smell no. like Marilyn Monroe actually smelled. This is more like a, a few minutes in your shaving mirror with her in the room. Is right. Kind of and I, I, there's almost that, um, it adds to the mystery of Marilyn. Right. It's right. not like it gave Ooh. away the secrets. It's just, Ooh. you know, like that, right. just her as a person and a character and, you know, actress and then her on her own. Like, right. I feel like there is always this mystery yeah. and the Marilyn spell. Oh, my and God. And it's still there. Right. It's it's not like they gave away the secrets of, like, here's Marilyn. Right. You know? And in fact, if you want to go down a real deep dive on YouTube, forget what color lipstick she used to wear. Look into her passing when she oh. left us because, yo, that was weird. The Kennedys were involved. They think maybe, like, they had something to do with it like oh there were goodness. little needle marks and things like y'all it got bananas yo so like it Clearly talk about mystery. mystery and intrigue right like i remember going up to the cal neva with my dad and kind of poking around the little cabins and the property because there is a secret tunnel that used to connect john f kennedy's cabin oh. to Marilyn and rose cabin straight up underground and he would fly air force one into the reno airport snap like those are the legends. I don't know if they're true. This is what my dad told me. <laughs> Adding but. to the mystery of Maryland. Ooh, there you go. Right? Like, so yeah, that that's what this is. This is mm-hmm. just like, I don't know, just like this fun sort of naughty kind of set right. that just kind of has that's that what I mean. There's something kind of raw about it. Right. It's not superficial, which I, I don't, not that Barrister and Man would pull that off, but something of like the stereotypical Maryland thing, right. I really thought the scent was going to come through yeah. that way, and it does not right. at all. Like more of like a sweet stuff or yeah. Queen of Hearts from Sterling, no. like Mm-mm. that are kind of modeled after more of the it's, female scents. It's almost like the behind the mm. scenes side, you know? Yeah. yeah, or they took all of the beautiful scents of Maryland and they took all the parts of it that would be masculine, and they took those yeah. out. Yes. And went, here, just have a fun time with these, right? I'm actually really curious to get it lathering because I yeah. think there are more of an actual tear going on in sense, but for us right. off the puck, it's just blended in there. And you know, if you saw our episode on Midnight Special, there was oh, a right. gorgeous citrus in that that meets mm-hmm. you at the beginning that I sense in this. Do you sense oh, that too? Oh, interesting. I'm going to have to rewatch yeah. to see. Definitely one of our most beautiful soaps and one of our least sweet. Right. Is that funny? You would have thought with Marilyn it would have been like uber sweet, maybe too sweet. Which is funny. No, y'all, not at all. That's what you get for having preconceived things in mind. Because clearly we have already been stumped here. Well, you know, according to some of the biographies and the biopics, like My Week with Marilyn, she was very talented and she was very beautiful, but sweet. Maybe not. Ah, interesting. So, I don't know, maybe this encapsulates a little bit more of Marilyn than they intended, right? Oh, ooh. Uh, yeah, things things are different. Oh. oh. There's a mid-tier oh. layer It going spreads on. out, and yeah. it lets you inside a little bit. See those set notes working together. Okay, yeah. Oh, a little sandy now along with the leather. It's Beautiful. Yeah, sandy, that's right. And still didn't sweeten up. I love no, that. I not. love that it's staying on the drier side you get- of things. Okay, do you get, oh. what types or what sides of it do you get that are feminine, though? Because there oh. is something in there happening, and I keep getting, like, a dried rose or, like, right. a oh, yes. something like too. that. I'm going to say, I get a little bit of a rose. I'll be shocked if there's not one in the scent notes. Right. I do get a hint of, of perfume in the top note. It mm-hmm. just doesn't stay for that long. Interesting. Like, it, well, it blends in. It stays, but it blends in. So I yeah. do get a little bit of a perfume hit at the beginning. I really do. Right. And then it, it kind of mellows out into mm-hmm. the woods and the leathers and the other things. So I it agree. starts more feminine- then it middles and finishes. Yes, I would agree. I Interesting. And, but mm. you know what? I do get a fun little like time warp from this. Oh. 
Yes, like I would say it was time. vintage for sure. Right, and the only reason I can think of that, I, right. my grandma used to always have her makeup set out, and she would Clamous. pull out her old makeup, like from years past, and there was a different smell that was in the powders. There was uh, a different smell of like whatever was used for makeup at that the time. The unsafe ingredients that worked way better. But, yeah, those. but I do kind of the dryness of this. I do get a little of what that older makeup base kind of smelled right. like. There's something in here that's very oddly connected. And y'all, there is just something in here that is absolutely charming. Just at, in the way it's built, in the way it's constructed, just at, well, like Marilyn, absolutely charming and beautiful. Right. But I am back in time when the picture of her on the cover, we're in that time frame. Ah, yeah. And you know, maybe not sweet. But yeah. a voluptuous soap. Could Ooh, we say that? There we go. Could we get that well, inappropriate here at the barbershop? Right? Yeah. Oh, is there anything else we should get off of this Full before we bodied. leave? I, I don't oh. know, but I'm just loving where that is. I'm loving where this starts. I need a map because this thing, Coco Chanel. What'd you put in here, Will? <laughs> Introducing Marilyn, our sprawling Baroque tribute. Oh. Interesting. Sprawling. Talk about vintage, right? right? To Marilyn and her legacy. Blended. Here we go. Okay. Strap in, folks. With notes of amber. Okay. I do get that. Bergamot. Oh, okay. You were right. We're there. Cool. Okay. Cedar. Ah. Lovely. Oh. Clary sage. Oh, I cool. can get at that yep. now. Coriander. Hmm. Fur. Ooh, oh, wait. did she wear her fur? Ah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mink fur. No, yeah. Uh, the fur. <laughs> labdanum. Okay, here we go. Leather. A Popanox, Oy. Tonka, okay, and then there oh, you go. I do get this now. Tobacco, mm -hmm. sandalwood, a little vetiver to green yeah. things up just a little, oh, and ylang ylang. Wow. Whoa. Marilyn is a powdery, cedary descent into what it means to feel stylish and sexy, capped with herbs and florals, and underlaid by the promise of desire. Cast in the mold of golden age perfumery, go. the sort of fragrances that surrounded Monroe during her lifetime, Marilyn is the perfect representation of the impact she left behind. Tuned for a masculine mm -hmm, audience and perfect for the most intimate of company. There it is. Valentine's there it Day. Is. I so get they it. did. They on purpose. They took the Marilyn mm -hmm. scent and they twisted it just a bit they to their did. filters. So it was masculine and beautiful and sort of super balanced for, right? as they say, a lovely intimate mm -hmm, evening of company. Mm -hmm. But yeah. there are other parts to this, like the tobacco I can get now. Yes, under the, the cedar. Yeah, and even just the herbs and the florals. It, right. I get it. It's much more of that dried kind of side almost too. Yep, and I want to make you aware. There is a lemon or some citrus that opens the door to this. You smell on that? Yeah, well, when you mentioned that it had more at the beginning, I paused and tried to get the initial sentence instead right. of just diving into the depths of it. And I do get a little bit more of that ode to a perfumery, like cleaner side, which right. I think is the citrus that's making that yeah, happen. Yeah, it's the citrus I, I also smelled in Midnight Special. Like. Right, yeah, it must be that same similar it's still a drier citrus if that makes yeah. sense and i'm shocked there's not like a rose petal in here because i do no. sense just a hint of a mm -hmm. bit of a dry rose in the middle and of it's funny summer. because i just you know assumed because of the lipstick and the maryland stereotype that the scent would orient that color with me but oh. this brown really fits well to the scent that i'm getting like i almost yeah. get like it's almost she's like about to turn the lights off at night right like it is very dim and dark and kind of that kind of time of the night right. but they're not intentionally that i realized that i was getting that color yeah, yeah. in mind but i'm not getting like a bright flamboyant female at all right and it's, it's funny because she had such a strong personality but it didn't always go to the feminine she was kind of known mm -hmm. as being a little bit businesswoman a little bit right? no nonsense mm -hmm. a little bit this and that and the other and it's so it's some of the other parts of her characteristics that are being brought forward in this. yeah i would completely agree i like being surprised i do have to say we yeah. clearly uh just based off the label and the name we assumed that something would be happening right. here but this is of course the barrister and man way of flipping us upside down just a little in yeah. the right ways and you know it hasn't been long since we watched the new restoration of Some Like It Hot. Let's take this a little bit deeper. We were kind of planning our Instagram Live coming up with Double A Shaves, and we realized that like a lot of the soaps fall into categories. Like some of them are transportive; they take you to mm -hmm. a place, or they're single scent notes, so they kind of take you to a thing. Right. This is beautiful. This might be one of the first I know that if I smell this, it's painting the picture of a person behind me. Right, and I there is an immediate confidence Ooh. that happens with this scent that I wasn't oh, expecting. I'm glad you said that because you know I you know in order to feel. Sexy and I feel like right. you have to have a little bit of that 
confidence in there. Right. That's a really and good it, point. And this oddly brings that about, like, right. in a way I wasn't expecting. Like, you know, some women have their their specific lipstick or perfume that they wear to right. feel confident. There is something about this scent that really does kind of come through. It's that. It's being put together. You have got everything you need for the day. when right? you, Yeah, when you smell this. That's what I'm confidence. getting. confidence. And it's right. not a forceful in your face feminine thing either. Like I can see why I, I really can't pick if the, I would use this more than you would. You, you know, know that feeling that you've forgotten something? This smell is the opposite of that feeling. Yes. This smell is like, I got it. I am ready to go I bring it on for the, the day, world. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with Marilyn on your side. Right. Yes, of course. I mean, doesn't mm -hmm. that just make you feel better just knowing in the back of your mind that right. that's what's She's on your face? Covered. And it's fun because she didn't always only wear the dresses. Like she wore the pantsuit. She wore all the other. You know, some like, of the most famous pictures did. of her are in pants and right. things like she that. Right. She really like on the, did on the kind of break stuff, that barrier. Right? Yeah. And some of the yeah. most famous pictures, she's not wearing any pants. <laughs> <laughs> Although you know, it's an interesting thought because she is known a little bit as as being. Well, she started Playboy magazine. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is, is that there is the, the the naughty sort of birthday suit factor? Does this have sort of a birthday suit? Smell uh, to know, it, or am I a little no, crazy? But that's why I used the word raw earlier. Was that I was kind of thinking of that, like it's not manufactured. This is what we got. You know, there's something on something that side. Something in the leather and the muskiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know something in there, folks. But I don't mm -hmm. think you'd be all that wrong to say this. I, I would completely maybe agree. smells like Marilyn's birthday suit. Somehow. But I really like being surprised. I have to say, I there's nothing in this that I think initially I would have expected to be part of the scent. But yeah. I love that it really does paint the picture that we were asking for. Right, and it is a sexy scent somehow. I'm not right? entirely sure I'm how, because most of what's stereotypical female is not there it's mm -hmm. a very maryland type of female very sneaky but, mm -hmm. ooh, and classy it. somehow like it does still have that classy side to it right. without trying like it's just there so it's pretty simple if your life's in danger you need to escape on the train except it's all female well you grab a couple of wigs you grab some dresses you jump on the train with maryland and guess what you just got your own So head over to BarristerAndMan.com to find this and a bunch of other cool stuff. One of the most fun, safe, awesome shaves I have had in a while with this one the other day, y'all. Marilyn. At first, I thought it was just, like, incredibly masculine. I don't know why I was expecting Coco Chanel, but my smell that I thought, oh, it's a very masculine soap. But the more I smell it, every time I go back to it, it's more and more feminine in some amazing, mysterious, barrister and man way that's just so hard to explain but has become something of a coveted member of my F-word list, y'all, of my favorites list. And just something about the barrier that base puts between my razor and my face that makes it so fun to use. Thank you, Will. Welcome to Messages. So, our friend Philip Sharp at Sharp Shaver made us our own TBD, the Barbershop Two Apples, yeah. and he has one that's going to be a giveaway for you. He started making them, y'all, and they're amazing, and the community's loving them. So, mm -hmm. he offered to do a giveaway yes. for us. So, all you have to do is send a message, mention Philip's bowls to we set you at thebarbershopduet.com to enter and follow Philip on Instagram. You could do a lot worse. He's got a great new channel going on. Yeah, can't wait for you to win one. A country mile from what I was expecting, but I am so grateful right? to have this one. Oh. And it's funny because originally when we saw this shave of the day going by, we didn't realize that it originally came out because of Valentine's Day, but I totally get it now. It does have that fun little kind of sultry, but almost like a special kind of scent. Like I feel like it has good memories attached to it. It's not something I was expecting. Which right. I kind of like, we don't have something in our den that's not No. Like this. And over my lifetime, when I think of the 10 sexiest things I've ever smelled, none of them were what I was expecting. That's true. That's <laughs> very true. So I love that this is Will's yeah. idea of Maryland and sexy on Valentine's Day, and we are here for it. Thanks oh. for making such great mm -hmm. stuff, Will and Will's mom, and making this packaging so much fun and so much part of this world. Don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. Oh, you'll smell sexier just watching this. 